Hello, apa kabar semuanya? My name is Vincent and welcome back to my lesson. Lesson for basic pattern for data analytics in which today we are going to talk about HR retention prediction step by step. Okay? And for the introductions, why do we care about predicting uh, employee retentions? Well, employees turnover take a lot of money, especially those money that are allocated by the company. Because when when an employee quits, you need as an HR manager, you need to find another replacement, and that includes administration fee, and you need to retrain them, you need to reorientate them, and that includes some lags before that this person can function well in your company. And therefore, as an HR manager, we want to optimize people to be happy and not leaving the companies. And of course, that includes us to predict and finally decide what or who that we should approach. Okay? So in this setting, this is one way how you could do that. But before we move on to the tutorial, let us talk about some possible reasons why employee quits. So the first of all is maybe because of the work-life balance. Maybe some employees are overworked. And maybe some employees are underworked, so they feel they don't contribute more. So you want to find out those reasons. And maybe that's why they quit. Maybe they are overworked or underworked. And second, maybe it's also because they have bad managers, bad colleagues, they have very lousy evaluations from them. So, therefore, they are not comfortable with their working environment. Then third one, maybe it's because social pressure, maybe there are something in the company or scandals that are disturbing them. Or maybe it's because their salaries are very low. So, so maybe they are looking for another opportunity to give them higher and better salary okay and it could also be qualitative issues something that you can uh, not track for example those people might just want to leave the country or maybe there are some um, issues such as there are um, family family problems or maybe like some issues that they can no longer work so all of these factors might contribute to why an employee quit. So in this tutorial, we are going to try to explore and analyze some of these possible reasons and hopefully given a certain profile of an employee, we can predict whether this employee will be more likely to quit or not based on the historical data. Alright? So moving on, the objective of this setting is to use standards to know the Kaggle employee retention analytics. So, what is Kaggle? Well, I'm going to explain to you in a few short while, but this employee retention analytics is a data set that is provided regarding this context on the predicting employee retention. So, hopefully, this is a very good base for you. Alright? And second, we're going to explore and understand the data sets. We're going to view the data find out whether the data is clean or not, or what is the necessary steps to make it clean before we explore. Alright? And we are going to talk about profile living employees. Maybe what are the profile of those people that left? Are they overwork? Are they underwork? Are they, uh, do they have low salary, high salary, and so on? And we are going to see the particulars. Alright? Then we are going to do in-depth analysis with correlation analysis, finding out, for example, oh, we found out that um, monthly, uh, the more people work, uh, the more the more likely they are to leave, and the more likely that they have low evaluation. So something like that that we want to find out. Okay. Then afterwards, we are going to go in further depth exploratory by doing department analysis. So this is what I decided after I explored that we could discuss about this further, like uh, why people leave employees group by department. And we are going to analyze them. Alright. Then, at uh, one important factor is that we are going to predict the retention of these employees using this model SVN support factor machine and decision tree analysis to classify these people. 
If you don't know about this model, feel free to reopen or access my video about this tutorial below. Okay? And there's a tutorial I'm going I'm explaining to you briefly about what SVM decision tree analysis is. And finally, we are going to accumulate many different kind of models that can be used for classification purposes and discuss their improvement. And we are going to talk about challenges and afterwards a bit of conclusions and the next lesson will be about social media trend analytics. Alright, so moving on is getting into the data. So let me introduce to you about the data set by Keiko. So just click on the link and you will find this Keiko discussion. So what is a Keiko? Keiko is a sort of a social enterprise, it's a business to, to host the community of data analysts and data analytics competitions. So, so companies or maybe consultants that want to have to open their data for people to analyze so they will host this competition this, this as a competition at this website and then encourage people to try and explore the data to find analysis that they might use for their own benefits so it's a good meeting point and coffee shops for data analysts and people that are interested in data, uh, in data analytics so you can open this website but if you want to download the data sets, then very simple, open this um, link as what I've shown you, and you will see that there is a download button here. So click on a download, wait for a while, Alright, yeah, when you click on uh, download, wait for a while, yeah, there should be some pop-ups and downloads. Sorry, I didn't see that, but there should be some downloads for you, and it will open this div, and when you open it, you find HR, SEP, CSV. So that is the data file, okay? So, what we can do is that if you go back to your directory, or at your folder, just copy-paste into here. Or put it as a separate folder or data sets or whatever. Okay? So let's assume, um, but for the sake of this tutorial, you can just create this data set folder. Very simple, just new folder. And then uh, there's another folder here. Click on this empty space and then rename it. So you can name it anything data set folder. Okay? And how you could put it here, then there's upload. You can upload and then direct it to your uh, to where you store your uh, your data. Like for example, that um, div. Okay, I need to upload, but you can just put it here and then we can use it to access the data later on. Okay. All right. And the comments, how you do the access is that you can use panda. So basically, you do import numpy and empty. And import pandas as pd. If you don't know why it is, refer back to my stock prediction analysis and it will tell you more. But basically, this is, this is a very simple Python library for you to access two dimensional data like associates, you know, like uh, columns and rows. But it is way more powerful than associates because it allows you to process this data in a more optimized and efficient manner. And there's also a lot of communities that keep any own functions. So you can do like financial analysis, you can do uh, all the possible statistical analysis within just by importing these extensions of the so-called libraries. Okay? So Pandas is one of the library or the extension that you use in order to put it in a nice looking format and you can do analysis with it. So for now, we want to read the CSV file using pandas. So what do we do is that we need to use pf equals pd.readcsv. So let me type that for you. So pd.readcsv. 
if you don't know the read yes we can you can just R and then um C A D um C S D okay and then you put in your directory. So what is your directory? For me my directory is at um the YouTube um and data sets. So that is where I host. So I will put data sets and then slash and I will read the file name. So what is the file name? The file name is hr comma set. Okay. So hr comma set. Okay. I hope I get it correct. Okay, underscore not here. Underscore set. Okay. So that should be it. And I try and oh I forgot this. So I'll try and run it and you'll see how it goes. It might take some time depending how powerful your computer uh your your computer is, your hardware. But if it doesn't uh work, maybe because I did uh wrong uh wrong directory just now, so just interrupt it. And yeah, and then start the tool speed and just run it. So there's an error. Okay, I'll only need to pause for a while to find out what the problem is. Hello. Okay, apologize for that. Apparently, it's because that uh, I did open some files that are actually referring to the same data source. That's why there is an error because one of my files is actually working over the data set. But it shouldn't have this, uh, you shouldn't encounter this problem if this is the only program that accessing your CSV. So just type on something like this, and if you are following my tutorial and then you put it on data set tutorial, then just change this small case data set into data set tutorial. Bear in mind with the small caps and large caps because it does matter. Alright? So just change on that and then click control enter and then you run it. And if there's no error message that means it's working properly. That now the app already have the data. Okay? So that's all about loading the data. In the next few sectors, I'm going to talk about viewing the data followed by the exploratory processes. With that, see you in the next session. Bye bye.